Are we going on the air? In minutes, yeah. Three oh minutes. gosh, guys. Yeah, we have to Classic 1220, your hometown at radio station here in St. Catharines. That is music from Jefferson Airplane and somebody to love. It's Steph and Danny Z in the morning. Chuck's here with us as well. It is 940 on your Monday. I know it's a chilly start to this day. Uh, you know what? Listen, it sure is. I it? hope that you've got some warm weather, some warm um, um, attire because don't be like Danny wearing just a t-shirt Stop anywhere it. this week. Stop it. It's you a need a, I'm going to get okay? you a coat this week because we're going to no, be expecting no, this cold weather to no. continue. Minus 12 is where we're sitting at. It feels around minus 20 without wind chill. And, uh, you know, this is about the time of day that we like to do the hometown heroes. We do, yes. We like to uh, talk a little bit about some of the hometown stuff. Yeah, we have my good friend Carlin here who is a sponsor of the hometown hero. I so love it. We'll be more excited to have you here. So, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, oh, excited to be here. Carl, thank you. you. I, yeah. I, I'm wondering if we should get into this or we should. Let's let's talk with Carl first. I was going to mention the, the story that I had for you, but I want to actually get your story here. Shameless plug first. Who, uh, who are you? And where are you from? The yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Carl Vanderkoop. Uh, I'm actually next door. I'm your neighbor. So welcome to the neighborhood. I love it. Thank you. Uh, my office is the up house. I have uh, um, uh, a real estate brokerage. I'm the broker of record of uh, Remax Up House Realty. Wow. And uh, it's great to have you guys uh, uh, as next door neighbors across from beautiful you, Montebello Park. You've got the coolest place on oh, the yeah. whole street too, right? I'm like, oh, that's not our place. That's such a cool looking building. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you very much. You know, so it's uh, you, you find yourself working harder and longer than you'd like to admit. So I, I do find ourselves having a, a fairly stimulating office. Yeah. Uh, keeps it creative and it's welcoming for people to come in anytime. Sure. And so if um, if people want to come in and they want to talk to you about real estate stuff, obviously they can do that. They can even just come in and, and talk with you guys and check out your cool office. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, you know it's 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 amazing the cast of characters that you know can can come in. Sure. Uh, want to check us out? Uh, also, people having real estate questions or checking up the. The, the listings that we have at the front door. I love it. Uh, yeah, want to be uh, very community oriented and uh, downtown centric, and uh, we get you know great feedback. And I have uh, uh, turtles in my my pond there that the the children like to gravitate oh, that's to. That's awesome. And uh, it's just uh, you know positive yeah. vibes. No, more importantly, coffee machine inside. I, go, I hate to tell you, Carl, but I'm about to come in and <laughs> check out the turtles and the coffee after I the show in today. I often as I can, find um, Let's talk a little bit, real quick, about the housing market because we are we must be seeing such. Uh, at least a, a somewhat of a change since where we were, you know, during COVID times and the housing oh, market sure. was crazy. Is it coming down a little bit now? What are we seeing? Yeah, well, you know, the the the, ring, the, the swings in real estate have been so profound the last couple of years, uh, and uh, that you know the way prices you know surge fifty, a hundred percent higher than than asking, and uh, in such a short time in those 2021, 22 markets. Uh, also dramatically corrected itself in uh, 22, 23. Yep. And then uh, last year we had modest gains of about 10% from spring till summer. Okay. That was just happened to be wiped away from now September to currently where we are today. Okay. So overall, um, uh, since COVID, we've actually continued to, to go up about 5% a year, but there's wow. been such such dramatic swings. Well, that's that what I was just going to say. You're so, you think that it's so up and down, but it's really not been as bad as what the, you know, somebody who's not trained eye, if you will, uh, looks at it from my perspective. I think, oh, I don't know. Is it really going this way or that way? But sure. Like, and interest rates uh, rose like a, a dozen yes. times in a, in a year. And uh, that actually kind of really put everybody, uh, you know, sitting on their wallets for a little bit, wondering what the, the, the market's going to do in the yeah. next little bit. Uh, I think I'm, I'm probably a born optimist. I feel like uh, with the sun shining, things yeah. are uh, things are going to go forward. I see uh, a market uh, improving uh, as uh, as the, the days go by, and Fantastic. I'm optimistic for this spring. That is awesome. Nice. Uh, we've got Curl in here, and of uh, Remax, right? I got that right. Yeah, Remax Up House Realty. Okay, excellent. And so we were talking a little bit off the air because, I mean, you're a young guy. So you told me you've been doing this for 21 years. He's a like, kid. I thought you were like he's younger. Like, it's, it's, you only started. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're. It's twenty one years you've been doing this. Twenty one years. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm in my twenty first year. I actually started when I was twenty one. Wow, which is incredible. And, 
Yeah. It's incredible. I tease you all the time because when I first had the opportunity to meet you, you were a kid, or I yeah. thought it was. A 21-year-old in real estate is unheard of, in my opinion. Yeah. I'd never seen it before, and he was a firecracker from the get-go. Oh, yeah. Is Unbelievable. that right? Unbelievable. How did that yeah. all come to be? Well, you know, it, it, it's amazing the amount of changes that have happened in real estate. I remember, uh, you know, having the thick real estate MLS book that oh, everyone yes. was like kind of sliding <laughs> underneath the table right. uh, to their to potential clients, and we'd encourage people to, to, to press hard on the on the paper because it was like the, the carbon copy paper, so you oh, had to get off yeah, the, uh, right. the third la layer <laughs> yes, of yeah. paperwork to, to get the signatures. Right. Uh, but I, you know, I, uh, I got into real estate. It was a pretty interesting story. I, I think, uh, I think it's actually started off when I was 18 years old. I, uh, I was full of energy yeah. and, uh, truth be told, I, I actually, I currently believe, uh, that we live in one of the greatest communities in the world. We, and, uh, I, I, I have so much gratitude for, for where we live. Yeah. But uh, an 18 year old uh, version of myself didn't always think that way. Sure, of course. And, uh, and I had so much energy. And uh, so out of high school, I, uh, uh, I left high school and I went out west to, uh, to Banff, Alberta. Okay. And I became uh, uh, a snowboard bum by yeah, day. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Uh, <laughs> and, a, and a bellman by night. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, I did that for, for two winters. And uh, I didn't have enough. So I went to. Uh, Europe for four months oh, and wow. I, I traveled around uh, Western you. and parts of Eastern Europe and, and throughout the uh, Mediterranean yeah. and then I still didn't have enough yeah. and I uh, and I, I, I went to the Cayman Islands for for, for eight months I love this I, uh, <laughs> I had uh, an aunt that was living there and okay. the, the, the plan was to uh, uh, to get a job and, and live in the Cayman Islands and, and love oh, life ah, and, yeah and uh why would you want that when you have minus 22 to the end? yeah well i ended up i ended up kind of going broke there because oh, it was just too much fun and it was on the british yeah. british pound right sure. uh you know uh eight dollar uh pound beers doesn't go so far <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, right and so i ended up kind of having uh rock fever as they called it and then i went and traveled into honduras and nicaragua wow and I became in, in, incredibly sick in Nicaragua. I was oh, in the, wow. the capital of, of Managua. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I actually ended up going to the hospital there. Oh, wow. And uh, it, was, it, was a th it was like a third world hospital, yeah. kind of. Uh, Not the place that you want to be in there to get ca taken care of. <laughs> no, no, like rolling blackouts, oh, uh, my generators, word. you know. Really? And uh, they said, you know, you got to get home right away. Wow. And uh, you're like, I couldn't agree more. And uh, <laughs> the doctor says, and you got to get home. Yeah, right. home. yeah. And so I, I was kind of like of the mindset of I didn't know what home was. I mean, I had oh, this. I didn't have so so much of a plan of of coming back to, to St. Catharines. I was a, I was a nomad. This was, sure. you know, yeah. this, was, this was the game plan. Yeah, right. And, uh, funny thing happened. I, I, I ended up pretty much sleeping about for seven months. Oh uh, with mono. I ended up contacting wow. mono. Uh, I somehow, under mono, was able to get a girlfriend. What? Uh, which just <laughs> He's so happened to be my, 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 my future wife. Was your and nurse? and uh, so absolutely, mono. you know, if, uh, if uh, I don't know what she's doing later, but I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Okay. <laughs> and so I realized. Pretty quickly that you know uh, I'm going to be around St. Catharines yeah. and 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 uh, I have this you know amazing girlfriend and yeah. and so I I started going to Brock University and uh, for uh, minoring in uh, in politics and majoring in in history these right. were natural things I was uh, uh, interested in while we were traveling and sure. I got interested in architecture and I had an uncle that encouraged me he says you know Carl you're 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 a people person. Yeah. Uh, you love, you know, the architecture and, and local histories. Yeah. You should really consider getting into real estate. Interesting. So as I went into Brock University into my, my first year, I was also getting my, my real estate license. Wow. And <laughs> go get uh, it. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, uh, and, you know, it was actually probably for the first time in my life, I was really in, enjoying school. Wow. Uh, it was uh, it was so stimulating and excited to be at the Brock University campus. And instead of kind of coming out of that school year and going to my uncle's farm to work for that summer, right. uh, I decided to give real estate a go. Wow. And it was like, hey, I'll, I'll do real estate for three months. I can uh, tell you how smart your, what, your uncle who said that to you. Yeah. To amalgamate the two things that you had an interest in. Do I would never think to do that, but that's fascinating. Yeah, do you think that, like, 
not just St. Catharines, but Niagara and all of Canada were so multicultural. Mm -hmm. Do you think that your travel helped you because you were you're selling houses to people from different parts of the world? Like yeah. my my grandparents were from somewhere else. Like that's yeah. kind of always the situation. And do you think that your travels helped you in any way? Oh, absolutely. You know, I would always encourage those that are young to kind of get out and see the world. And not my kids. Listen, don't. Listen to them. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, okay? You're not traveling, you're not going anywhere. My okay, children but other people. Oh, yeah. 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 And so you, you really kind of discover uh, who you are on your own in, in hostels it's needing to, to, to meet yes. people and, and communicate. And, and you can go to a right. hostel, the girls, you're not going to no hostel. Yeah. Okay, carry on. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and so uh, not only was I getting into to real estate for the first time that yeah. summer and, uh, and committed to being in, in St. Catharines, mm -hmm. but uh, I also really wanted to um you know uh help people and okay. and and there was a lot of uh, uh a lot of friends yeah. that were at an age where they were starting to get into um uh thinking about having some savings Fine. and yes. kind of getting into the, the the prospects of real estate so yeah. it was a, it was an excellent opportunity wow. to 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 get in there uh you know it's uh uh, very much a, a giver's gain type of, uh, of, of industry. Uh, I think the world of, of realtors and my colleagues at large are very, are very much... Very personable, though. Like, you have to be a people person to be a good real estate agent. You yeah. have to make the person feel comfortable. I'm making one of the biggest investments of my life, potentially the biggest one ever. And I have to feel, feel comfortable with you, know that I feel that what you're giving me is an honest opinion, and, and, and sometimes you have to bring a buyer to a home that you honestly have to say, I don't know if this is right for you. Like that's that's what makes it yeah, a, that's a great sometimes agent. Sometimes the most important conversations right. to have. Yeah, exactly. That because they either can't afford it, it's the wrong neighborhood or the wrong house, and you have to become the extension eyes of myself. When I'm making that purchase and I sit in your office for a coffee, when I sit there and say to you, this is what I'm looking for, and you bring me a number of listings, you're really the representation of me, and you're saying, I think this is good for your family. Or this isn't the right neighborhood for you or whatever it is. Like it becomes, you become an extension of my family at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, people really put their trust in you and that's uh, the, the cornerstone of, of, of our foundation as, as realtors is to, to be trusting and guiding and providing them advice. I often tell people that, you know, we are, uh, we may be the, the most important tool in your toolbox going forward in your real estate journey. And, um, uh, you know, for me, when it comes to this community, because it comes kind of full circle, uh, you know, it, you really want to be the, the the change that you 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 want to see in the world, yeah. and uh, and and for those uh, that are that are out there that are thinking about St. Catharines, thinking about the community that we have to offer here, uh, it really is special. We do have and, a special uh, place. Yeah, so uh, t twenty years of real estate, hundreds of homes sold. Uh, lots of community oriented activities and uh, you know what I'd like to think that uh, uh, this you know the sea there's something in the water in, in St. Catharines because I think that we have some of the best people in the in the world here. Yeah, Carol thanks so much for joining us this morning I do want to bring it back to the community level because when you came in I'm like yeah we've met before because I really want to give a shout out aside from like all the amazing things that you do in business you are just an awesome person in our community as well. Oh, and uh, we have talked on the air before about, you know, getting the city, getting allowing people to have outdoor rinks in their neighborhoods. And you and some of the guys in your neighborhood for the last three years, who was, we said three years, right? Three years, yeah. Have been putting together Walker's Creek uh, Rink. A lot, especially when it's cold or when you're busy, you run a very successful business. Yeah. You have a family, you're a father, you're involved in the community. You're a hockey and dad, you have to take right? that time yeah, out. And right. it's not easy. It's a sacrifice. Yeah. And that's what makes you and people like you stand out as a hometown hero here throughout the community because you do it because it's the right thing to do, not because you have to do it. Yeah. It's incredible. For that, I applaud you. For sure. Yeah. For well, sure. thank you very much. And, you know, we expanded on the rink uh, in the last years. It's yes. now 44 by, by 87. It's, yeah. it's larger. It's huge. The He's double digit the depth. So yeah. You can have four rinks <laughs> eventually yeah. as a the, uh, the, the, the core guys that uh, we're with uh, it, are just unbelievable volunteers. Uh, you know, the secret is, is that I think we're actually having more fun than anybody out there. Put and on uh, there's, a, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I know the boys were out there uh, Right before the cold snap, uh, with uh, pool skimmers trying to get the uh, the, the leaves uh, off the top because wow. of all the the wind prior That's to. Right. Yeah. And oh, man, uh, and now we're we're looking at uh, at least two inches thick. 
uh, on our way to, to, to three and, uh, you know, fingers crossed for, for Thursday, Friday. Friday is actually a PA day. That's where I'm actually hoping that we oh. can get all the kids in the community out I there on Friday. Sure. Oh, thank that you. Be, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Honestly, perfect. thank all the guys for me too. Uh, and thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for coming in and welcoming us to the neighborhood. Yes. Thank you for coming and supporting Classic 1220 as well. Uh, and give us a plug once again for the business. Carl Vandercube, broker of record, Remax of House Realty. Excellent. Yeah. Call Carl. Call Carl. All you have to yeah. do when you're looking for a home for whatever reason, call Carl. That's what I always say. So before yeah. we go, before we go, before we go, I want to bring that down. It bring it you down. It bring it down. Bring it down. No, I want to do one more she thing because me. Carl actually is um, supporting us and uh, promoting our hometown heroes. And we do want to talk one quick thing about um, one of the features that we do is talk about some of the history of St. Catherine. So it's so cool that I did want to make mention oh, yeah, 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 of yeah. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. You, I know that you guys know the Niagara Falls freezes over. Did you know that? Or am I educating you today? Uh, no, it Somewhat? freezes over. We've, 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 I think all, everyone seen has photos. seen the picture. Yeah. Seen like black yeah. and white photos. Yeah, though. black yeah. and white. Exactly, because there was only one time that it completely froze over. It's like partially frozen, even like in 2019. It was they right around when the Leafs won the cup. Oh! 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 Too soon? Oh, boy. That's <laughs> chilly. Chuck is going to come running yeah. in here in a minute, yeah, yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. Uh, both, only one time it completely froze over, and that was the fall and the river back in uh, 1848, March 29th. It just seems so late in the season, March 29th, right? Wow. 1848. On that day, there was an ice jam on the river, made it possible for complete freezing. Other than that, we've had partial freezing. The earliest has been 2019. So Incredible. Just wanted to keep That's that a little, little bit of history. Thanks so much for joining us today. Steph and Danny Z getting ready to say adios for now. Carl, a pleasure. Hey, we'll thank you. Have you with thank you again. so much for having me. You're right this next door. Really You're just going to stop on by, I hope. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Classic 1220 continues. Three doors down. Chuck's on the way with the latest news, sports, traffic, and weather. Irish on the way after him. And don't forget, Pete's in after 3 o'clock. <laughs>